we are planning a fundraising event. And we find that if you sell the tickets at the price of $40, then we can, we can sell 350 tickets. And now if you increase the price, some people say, ah, it's not worth it. So if we increase the price, the number of tickets sold goes down. That's a very fundamental phenomenon in, in uh, economics. And this problem could be, well, it's gonna be one of the first problems in your business calculus class by ways of reviewing. So the trick is to what, what we call X. So it says that if we increase the price by $1, we're gonna, we're gonna lose five tickets. Okay. So the price of the ticket and the number sold are in this intricate relationship with each other. So if we set the price at $20, we can then sell 350 tickets. Now, whenever you see the word revenue, that's just a fancy word to say income, like how much coming is coming in. That's not the profit because for the profits, you have to subtract your, your costs. How much, how much income comes in from this scenario? So it's 40 times 350 each. So that's 14,000, that's not bad. What happens if you raise the price? Should we raise the price? What happens if you raise the price by $1? How many tickets can we sell then? 345. Exactly, we lose five tickets. And so it's a balancing act. It's more money, but from fewer hands. And so, well, should we raise the price? 41 times 345. Well, I see 145 reasons to raise the price, right? Um, and by the way, this is true backwards. So if we lower the price to 39, we should, we should be gaining five customers. So that would be 355. Well, if, if uh, raising the price help, probably lowering won't. 39 times 345. Right. So the first question was, okay, what, the first question was kind of getting you to get used to this scenario. And the first question was, is what about the price of 50? How much money are we clearing if we, if we set the price of the ticket at 50 bucks? So we're gonna add to 350, we're gonna add uh, uh, 20, I think. So it's gonna be 50 multiplied 370. No, 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 no. When you raise the price, the demand lowers. So when you increase the price, because the problem says that from $40, each increase, uh, each dollar increase will result in a loss of five tickets. So we raise $10, that means we, we lose 50 tickets. So altogether, we can only sell 300. And so then, well, I think I know what this is gonna be. It's 15,000. 15, so it looks like we should, we should raise the price. The second part is a little bit more complicated because it, it asks, and unfortunately I forgot to. So the question is, yeah, I didn't write down this number, 14,625. So what price or prices would result in the total income or 14,625. So first of all, these numbers are close enough for you to do trial and error, but this is not a trial and error course. This is college algebra course. So we're gonna have to set up and solve an equation. And the trickiest part in every word problem is what do we call X? If we call the price X, then it's, really, it's gonna be really difficult to express this in terms of X. Because if the price is X, we're gonna to have to say, okay, well, how far is X from 40? And let's multiply that by five and let's subtract that from 350. That's a terrible way having to set up the equation. Similarly, this one, if you call this X, this is gonna to be too complicated. The trick is to call X, what was one here, negative one here and 10 here. And that is, that would be the increase in the price from 40 bucks. If that is our X, then the price should be uh, $40 plus X, right? So, and we should always commit in writing. So let X denote the increase in the price from 40 bucks. 
uh, then the price is going to be 40 plus x. And the, go and the hope is that it's also not that difficult to express how many we are selling. Any ideas? How many are we going to sell in terms of x? Here, x equals 0. If we raise the ticket by a thousand bucks, we're going to have negative number of customers because we're going to lose 5,000 customers from 350. It's really 350 minus 5x. And these, these lines are kind of good because you can test your formulas. If x is 1, then 350 minus 5x is 345, right? And if x is 10, then this is 350 minus 5 times 10. And so now here is this lovely quadratic equation. And see, this was the logic, but now I'm becoming an algebraist and kind of write it in terms of computation. And this is a quadratic equation. So we can solve for x and we should expect two solutions and they will both work. We're gonna solve this equation, 5x squared plus 350 minus 200, I, I believe it's plus 150x, don't trust me, plus 350 minus 200, uh, plus 35, 70, 140, 14, I'm not sure how many zeros, uh, let's just check, 40 times 350. Oh yeah, because if x is zero, this should be, this should be 14,000. You see, if x is zero, we, we're making 14,000. This is, in terms of x, the revenue. This is the revenue as a function of x. And this should equal 14,625. And that's our quadratic equation to solve. I'm going to pile up everything here uh, on the right-hand side because I don't like the negative. And after that, we're going to divide by 5, right? So we're adding 5x squared. We're subtracting 150x. And we're subtracting 14,000, but we're left. See, it's not that bad anymore. Now we're going to divide everything by 5. Oh. Lost the square, no one is yelling at me. So 625 divided by 5, there it is. The problems sort of lend themselves for completing the square. So x minus 15 squared is x squared minus 30x plus 225. And so we're going to smuggle in the 225. So we have x minus 15 squared, and then this looks just 100. So we have um, x minus 15 plus 10, x minus 15 minus 10, which means that we have x minus 5 times x minus 25. OK, now let me show you what's the wrong answer. 5 and 25 are wrong answers because X did not stand for the price. And that's why you should make a written commitment that X denotes the increase in the price from 40 bucks. So if X is five, that means that we're thinking $45 for price, right? X equals five means the a price of 45, and this should be a price of 65. And now let's see, we can go back to the expression or to the equation or just straight for the word problem. Let's just do the word problem. I believe they should both work. So if the price is 45, how many are we gonna sell? 325. Mm -hmm. And then, so when we multiply these two, we should get that number, uh huh? So it works. And then if we raise the price to $65, then the price is bigger, but we're going to sell only X is 25. We lost that many times five tickets, right? So how many are we going to be able to sell? There it is. So they both work. Uh, both price works. 
All right. So that's how you do that one.